The last Nun movie was pretty disappointing to say the least. Will this movie be any better? Well, it isn't so bad. The plot has actually improved as well as the production, and especially the jump scares. The last movie left us with some questions though. Is Maurice possessed? Will the Nun be defeated? Here's a brief summary with some spoilers, so proceed with caution. The movie begins in Tarascon, France in 1956, where we see a boy named Jacques coming to the church and helping Father Noiret. But one day in the basement, Jacques goes to bring the father a bottle of wine and the wine jar bursts. In fact, he also sees a football in the darkness and when he kicks it to the corner, it comes right back. We understand that it is Valak who did that. When Jacques goes to the father to tell him what he saw, he levitates in the air and Valak kills him by burning him alive. All while the boy watches it happen. And right after we see someone walking through the corridors whose silhouette resembles the nun. It is depicted that whoever that person is, Valak has possessed him. From here we see that the story is focused on Sister Irene, a familiar face for the ones who have watched the previous nun installment. We're introduced to Sister Deborah, who's a bit of a rebel. Irene meets Deborah at the church and they bond with each other through their past. We come to find out that Deborah is from Mississippi and her house was set on fire. Her brothers were sent to the military to serve the country while she was sent to serve God. Irene shares that she was quite close with her mother and that she used to have visions. Due to this, her father had taken her to countless doctors, which resulted in her being taken away forever. Irene joined the church shortly after. In the next scene, we see that Irene has a nightmare where she encounters the nun. But she sees that Maurice, also called Frenchie, is possessed by the nun. Irene wakes up shortly after. The next day, Irene is called upon by the church's higher-ups and is asked to investigate a series of deaths that could be connected to a demonic entity. Initially, Irene disagrees with the idea altogether, but after some convincing, she obliges. The deaths had seemed connected in many ways, and they were sure it was moving towards the west. Irene embarks on her journey to find out more about the case, and we also see Deborah sneaking in with her on the train, for which Irene chastises her. However, Deborah replies that she has only heard of miracles, and they are difficult to believe. She wants to experience it to see if it's true. In another scene, a girls' boarding school is shown that Madame Laurent runs. We're introduced to Kate, a teacher at the school, and Sophie, her daughter, and a student at the school. Sophie is a sweet child, but she gets bullied by a few other girls at the school. We see Maurice, the guy who saved Sister Irene in the last movie, working as an all-rounder worker at the school. His character has developed immensely as we see him caring for Sophie deeply and being in love with Kate. He does it all, gardening, plumbing, you name it. Although we see Maurice in a good light as he likes Kate and he is kind to Sophie, but we soon find out that he hides a dark truth. You guessed it right, Valak had possessed him. We had noticed in the previous movie that the devil had possessed Maurice in the end. He still is, and he sometimes acts strangely. Like the one time he kills a girl who delivers groceries to him. In fact, in the beginning act of the movie, the man we saw walking out of the church after lighting the father on fire was Maurice himself. So it's confirmed that it's Maurice who has been murdering people all around town. Or at least Valak had possessed Maurice and made him do it. Moving on, the girls who bullied Sophie bring her to a chapel that is forbidden to enter. They make her stand there alone while they leave her there and run away. Sophie realizes this and turns to leave, but the girls lock the door and trap her inside. Sophie then notices a painting in front of her, on which she sees the picture of a monstrous goat. When the light hits the glass at a particular angle, the goat's eyes go red, and a red light gets projected onto a spot on the floor. Suddenly, she encounters the nun, and she runs away. But fortunately, Maurice saves her in time. However, Sophie is still scared and sees the nun around the school. Meanwhile, Maurice asks Kate why the chapel is locked off and off-limits. Kate informs him that Madame Laurent's son Cedric had died there due to an explosion and that after the incident, she kept the room locked at all times. In another scene, we see Sister Irene and Sister Deborah in France at the church where Father Noiret was killed. Irene finds out that a man named Frenchie used to work there. She instantly makes the connection that the demon possessed him since he was the one who fought with it back then. Outside, Irene meets Jacques, with whom she finds a rosary with a unique mark on it. However, when she follows the boy, they all disappear. 
She comes face to face with a magazine stand where she notices pages turn and finally settle on an image. The nuns. The nun suddenly chokes Irene who then loses consciousness. She's taken to the doctor by a worried Deborah when Irene has a vision. Back in the boarding school, Madame Laurent hears Maurice hitting his head against the door to the chapel. She calls him over to which he responds by acting strangely and leaving. But right after, she hears a voice behind the chapel door that calls to her, and it was calling her Mama. She enters the chapel, where she sees her dead son's ghost, and the nun is looming over him. Madame Laurent is killed shortly after. The next morning, Kate finds Madame Laurent's corpse, and the whole school is in shock. Back in France, Irene puts the pieces together and connects the strange symbol of the rosary to the murders. Moreover, she suspected that St. Lucy played a huge part in it, since she saw her painting in her vision. St. Lucy was killed in the past by pagans, and her eyes were gouged out. Irene rushes to meet a friend who works in the Catholic archives. He immediately recognizes the symbol and reveals that the symbol is a family crest, and that when St. Lucy was murdered, her family soared. And then they protected her eyes, which went on to become a holy relic. He also concludes that the demon must be behind the holy relic to possess its powers. The nun was once an angel who was rejected by God and lost its angelic powers, and getting St. Lucy's eyes meant getting back its powers. The devil had been killing her family one by one to find the relic, which is said to be hidden by one of the family members. Irene sets out to find the holy relic before the nun can get its hands on it and use it to send the devil right back to hell. The location of the relic is revealed by the man in the archives. The relic turns out to be hidden in the girls' boarding school itself, which was a wine cellar in the past. Now, knowing this information, Irene and Deborah leave for the boarding school. We see back in the school that Maurice is taken over by the nun when he is with Kate and Sophie. Maurice somehow controls himself and tries to keep them both safe. However, Irene and Deborah block their way. She confronts Maurice and he is completely possessed by the devil. He attacks Irene and with much effort, Deborah hits his head, leaving him unconscious. They bind Maurice up and go in search of the holy relic. Sister Deborah shines a light through the glass painting and digs the spot where the red light falls. They successfully find the eyes of St. Lucy. But we find that Maurice wakes up and frees himself. Back in the chapel, a student finds the monstrous goat and it chases her. Fortunately, Deborah saves her in time. Maurice confronts the sisters and attacks them. Irene, with much difficulty, immobilizes him and he falls down. They mourn, thinking he died, when suddenly he wakes up and snatches the relic from Irene's hands. He got what he had come for. He lifts Irene up in the air, similar to how he did in the previous movie, lights her on fire and tries to kill her. At that moment, she remembers her mother and how she told her she would be with her forever. The fire dies down by itself and she now knows how to take the devil down. Deborah tells her that she is a descendant of St. Lucy and to truly believe in God. She also reminds Irene of how Valak was taken down the last time using Jesus' blood. Irene prays to God and turns the wine into Jesus' blood. The blood burns Valak and destroys the devil. In the last scene, we see that Maurice is in better shape and there's closure. However, in the first installment, we see Maurice being exercised by Lorraine. So maybe he isn't free after all. So that was the movie, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.